Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and I was not really gonna do this Luna video right now but I got a really good score and I did that with a different rotation than last time. So I thought I would share this rotation and this run with you guys. So I hope this video does help you guys scoring more. It's gonna be for Alliance Battle Legend. I'm not sure if it's, it's gonna work for ABX so I will post you guys later on. This is the max build Luna that I showed you before in the runs as well but the rotation is the main deal. Uh, you will score definitely higher than what you were getting before. Now, I was getting very consistent score with the rotation that I'm using now. So that's why I just wanted to make this video. So let's just start with uh, the beginning. So we'll start with the 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Okay, 3 is going to be delay cancel. But I actually am going to start with 4, 5, 3, 2, 1. I'm not sure why, but I'm getting better procs with it. So I'm going to start off with 4, 5, 3, 1, 2, not 2, 1, sorry. Then we'll use the co-op skill, which is the second skill. Then we go first skill. Then 2, 5, tier 4, 4, 3. You have to do that. Uh, let me just show you once again. 5, tier 4, 4, 3, 1, tier 3, 2. Or you can basically go 5, tier 4, 4, 3, tier 3, 2. So it depends on where the tier 3 skill is. Also, when Surter comes out of the rower, we'll start with the second skill. Okay, so he comes out of the rower. You go second skill then into the normal rotation okay five three four and all so the rest of the things are same and what you want to do basically is the spam of the two and one you want to try to get twice you know uh, the two cancel one you need to try to get it twice under the same rage proc in seven seconds and you can do that so that is something to notice that definitely gives you a big bump also this tier three skill uh, helps you out and you can also go with say you know second skill before the tier 3 sometimes you will see once I think it was a second door I went with the second skill and then with the tier 3 skill the reason I'm doing this is that I want to get extra second skill in before I really start the whole rotation after the rower because Surter is basically in iframe you can do, cannot even hit him around the rower time that's why I thought that you know Maybe getting some extra 1s and 2s will help you out. And actually those 1s and 2s does make the 100k, 200k or 300k score differences. So definitely it's going to help you out. Let me just start the run and let me guide through this. So I'm going to go against this. We go 4, 5, 3, 1, 2. Co-op skill, I used it. And then we go first skill. Then we spam. You can see I'm spamming 2, 1. Then 5, tier 4, 4, 3, tier 3 and then 2. Again, I'm just spamming the skills or whatever. You know, you have to basically spam, but just spam in order. You know, as you can see, I am well, 2.33 million. That, that's a lot, okay, before the first drawer. Now we're gonna start second skill, five. This thing, do not use the tier three skill until before the second, okay? So I'm not trying to time the tier three skill with certain skill. It's just that if there is a lot of time remaining and the tier three skill, I just don't want to waste that time, okay? So we go five, four again. Uh, once you get through this, once you know get used to this thing, you will uh, definitely, it will be much easier for you to score with this rotation. Now I think I should have just gone with the 5-4 four first. Maybe I might have wasted one half a second or something. I don't like it. Anyways, uh, we're gonna start off this phase with the, the tier 3 skill. We got tier 3, 5, 4, 3, 1 and then 2. Slightly delay collecting the light. That is, I think, the main thing. You have to collect the light slightly delay than the usual. It honestly gives you slightly better score. And the reason is simple. If you have the tier 3 skill on, when you do this, obviously the tier 3 hits late, right? On the main enemy. So you're going to hit late. And then you have the light phase. So in the end, when you're running like the second tier 3 skill of the light phase, uh, you can have the tier 3 skill damage or the other skill uh within that same light phase you know the main thing to do is to try to get as many skills as possible in that light phase because that makes the most difference and you can see i'm gonna go to second skill before the tier 3 skill so again I'm, I'm just trying to make use of the short cooldown on this skill sometimes you can skip the second skill if you think that the proc is going to activate early that's something i did not want to do like this but, uh, well, he was going to dash. So the tier 3 damage, I think, could have been really bad. I might have missed a lot of tier 3 damage. That's why I just went with that. You try to do 2 cancel 1 2 times before you use the tier 3 skill. 
do that and that will definitely give you a really nice bump before uh, before anything else so it helps out again um a bit delayed i just dropped the tier 3 skill because you have to you don't have much many skills available around this time so you should there is basically no need to hold anything back now i'm going to go with the normal rotation i'm going to use the tier 3 skill and i'm going to try to use this so sadly the timing of the co-op skill was slightly bad but i was able to get 14.3 almost already and we're gonna get well almost 14.4 million with this run i think i can improve this i can go over 14.5 15 million is the cap i know luna is not exactly the easiest to play but once you get used to it honestly she's gonna score very good for you and be very consistent just make sure that you use the second skill before the uh, right after he comes out of iframe from the rower also the tier 3 skill timing with the whole rotation slash the light phase timing those are two or three things that you have to take advantage of also uh, keep a track of your scores what you get because you don't want to run three minutes and then decide okay it was a really bad run you have to be able to understand and notice which run is good and which run is not i literally restart in like first 20 seconds 30 seconds if i feel the run is not good you know try and not waste so much time just practice i hope this actually gives you a uh, score bump and let me know in the comment section if you have any other rotation that maybe i can cap 15 million with this luna uh anyways thanks for watching i just wanted to show this rotation and help you guys out with this so anyways let me know in the comment section what you think about the video and i'll see you guys in the next one thanks for watching guys take care see ya